All right, this is lesson topic 68. So we're doing the same thing as we did in 67, except for now we're going to evaluate that um, at the lower and upper bound. So this one right here, same thing as stuff we've done before. We want to choose the u, which in this case is going to be uh, the denominator of this since it's being raised to the power of 1 half. So we have the u is equal to 2x minus 1. Therefore, therefore du would be equal to 2 dx, right? Now, if I divide both sides by 2, I get the du over 2 is equal to dx. And now if you look at this, all right, I'm going to have the u is going to be here. So it's going to be u to the 1 half power. And the du, uh, dx, which is right here, is going to be that. However, I need an x. I don't have an x on here. So, if you didn't get this the first three times, I need an x. If I need an x or an x squared or anything like that, x cubed, x to the fourth, I'm going to obtain that from using this ori original substitution. So, if u is equal to 2x minus 1, all right, I'm going to solve for x here. So if I solve for x, I'm going to get that x is equal to u plus 1 over 2. All right. In addition to that, if you remember from the last lesson, so if you haven't watched the last lesson, you might want to watch that first. I need to figure out the boundaries. So I have x and u. I need to find the relationship between those two. So if x is 1, and I plug in a 1 right here, so I got 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1, well, that's also 1. If I plug in a 5 here, that's going to give me 10 minus 1, so that's going to make that 9. Okay, so, when I substitute everything in, I'm going to have the integral between 1 and 9 of u plus 1 over 2 over u to the one half du over two. Now that looks a little bit uh, convoluted to say the least, but if I do this right here, hopefully that looks a little bit simpler. Right, now notice that on this, I have a 2 and a 2 on the bottom here, so I can actually pull out a 1 half out of this, and I can pull out a 1 half out of this. So when I pull both of those halves, that actually becomes 1 fourth. So this is 1 fourth. Okay. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to distribute this u to the negative 1 half among that one and that one. So this will be u to the 1 half plus u to the negative 1 half du. Okay. Oop, I'm off screen, so there's that. All right, now once I do that, I can go back and uh, I can go ahead and integrate this. So I'm going to have one fourth, two thirds of u to the three halves, plus two u to the one half, I'm going to evaluate that between 1 and 9. Okay. So I'm going to write this stuff down. I'm not going to talk very much after this. I'm just going to write that down. Hopefully by now you should know where this is coming from. All right. When I do all of this, that will give me that the answer is... 16 over 3. All right, so that's that. All right, on the next one, so this is like one you've done before The really, we're not really even evaluating e to the x or natural log at this point. Now an example two, I notice that if I make u the power, if I make u is equal to x squared, then du will be equal to 2x. Notice that I don't, 
I have the x here that I need, that's good, but I don't need that too. So one more time, I'm gonna divide this by two and that by two. So now, oh, dx, I forgot to put a dx here. Okay, so now I have the du over two is equal to x dx. And then let's go ahead and do this also. Let's go ahead and find the new boundaries if x is zero. If I plug in a zero, uh, sorry, for x, we got zero squared, which is still zero. And if I plug in a two here, two squared is four. All right, so this one's actually gonna be pretty quick. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna have the integral between zero, uh, yeah, zero and four. I'm gonna pull out that one half. Remember that one half came from this du over two, okay? I have e to the u, du. Remember originally this was du over two, but I went ahead and pulled out that two all the way out here. All right, so when we integrate that, which you should, this should be your favorite thing to integrate, because the derivative of e to the u, sorry, the antiderivative of e to the u is just e to the u. e to the u plus c to be precise, but because we're evaluating into 0 and 4, we don't need to write c because we're going to cancel that. So that's what we have so far. We're going to plug in 1 half e to the 4 minus e to the 0. Now, as you should know, e to the zero is just one. Any number to the zero power is one. So that is gonna be your answer. Okay, so that one's that. Let's go on to the next one. Now, I'm not really sure, but this could be the ones that kinda, you can use on this one. You can use um, uh, substitution, but if I say the u is x and du is dx, that's not going to do much for you. Hopefully by now you should recognize, especially after the uh, 67 homework, the antiderivative of 1 over x is just the natural log of the absolute value of x. And now I'm just going to try to evaluate this between 1 and 3. Okay, So now I have the natural log of 3, absolute value of 3, the natural log of the absolute value of 1, now remember that the absolute value of 3, well that's just going to be 3, so I can just write it like this. And the absolute value of 1, well that's just 1. Right, let me write this as a 1 so you don't get confused, that's 1. Now the natural log of 1 is 0. So the answer is just the natural log of 3. Not too bad. Right, the homework is not too complicated, but if you have any questions, make sure and ask. All right, that is it. We'll see you next time.